Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we're finally sewing, but not in my sewing room. I'm really sorry about that. So anyways, as you can see here, I have my brand new dress form. It's not that new. I've actually had it for about three months and it's been in storage because I just could not let myself start doing things that I can't prioritize right now. Um, until today, I need to take it out because I have a wedding to go to this coming Saturday and I need to alter my dress because it doesn't fit me right. Love that for me. Uh, it is Monday. The wedding is Saturday. I'm hoping I can get a lot of it done today. Um, I bought the dress from Pretty Little Thing and the back was not really shown in the dress and it's a cowl neck on both sides and I don't have boobs, so it, it's just not happening. It's not happening. So anyways. I guess let's assemble my dress form and bring the dress down here and I guess start seam ripping. Oh, say hello to Miss Lady in Red. I hope that this can get close to my size. So this will be our newest, hopefully repeat guest, Miss Lady in Red. <laughs> Okay, we're about the same height now, close enough. Let me get the dress. As you can see, I struggled with her enough already. Um, the cowl neck, I just feel like doesn't do its thing like it should, like I wish, I don't know. I know I could probably just pin it or something like this on myself and it'd be fine, but it's just, I don't wanna flash anyone and I'm not trying to wear a bra because it's gonna be hot. It's gonna literally be like 90 degrees or hotter that day. So what I'm thinking is, seam ripping off the sides or the straps and then just changing this neckline entirely kind of like just take it in a little bit like this and then even down a little bit like this and just kind of do something straight across maybe add a dart here I don't know yet this dress is such a pain to deal with and I'm really scared to do this why is the back like this like what is this supposed to be I guess here goes nothing here I am just starting to seam rip the very tedious job of the straps off the dress. And then after I finished this, I just decided I need a quick little break. I'm back home. Um, I went to Joanne's because I'm just too scared to cut this dress. And I picked up another loop turner because I can't find mine anywhere. And I already have a problem where when I released this seam, the straps for the ruching uh, went down and now I have to pull them back up. And I'm not really looking forward to it because I know it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I got some marking pens that are water soluble so I can hopefully see how I want this to look. And then I got thread, which actually I think for not having anything for the dress, this is like almost a perfect match to what was used. So that's what I got. And I got ballpoint needles. I don't think I need them for this because it's more meant for knit fabric than this. But I think I might try to use it anyways just because this like fabric is really weird and I'm scared I'm gonna run. So I guess first I should just tackle the one problem that's gonna hurt me the most. And let's try to loop turn these out. I figured because this has like an opening hook, like so, I could hook this strap and pull it up. So that's my hope. Does not mean that we'll get it. And I'll be back because I need my phone flashlight to put behind the dress to see exactly where the strap is. I'll be back. Okay, so the first one it worked. I got it out. I'm just gonna pin it to this. And now this one is the one that's deeper and it's more like down here. I don't know, I'm kinda nervous about that one. That went way better than I anticipated. I have three pins holding this up. I'm honestly about to put a fourth on just to be safe. But that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. And I'm so thankful. Oh my God. I thought that was going to be the detriment of this entire dress. So I guess let's continue. I'm hoping in this scenario that less will be more. And I'm going to try not to cut off too much. I don't know if that will happen or not. But one can hope. I guess this is now where these come into handy. Okay. I have the line. I'm terrified. We're just going to cut it. 
It's, it's the only thing I think I can think of to do right now. I did it. After nerve-wrackingly cutting the fabric, I finally got over it and started to pin the shape of the dress that I wanted. I definitely wanted it to be straight across the top, but I also obviously needed to make room for the armhole since the dress is no longer draping the top part of it. It is going to be a little bit angled. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying. You'll see. Ooh, hola. Oh, it's not recording. Oh, it is recording. Mm-hmm. Hola. Am I going to be in a YouTube video? Um, I don't know. We'll see. If this part... If, because hola, of YouTube. Uh, sub, uh, follow my TikTok, White Boy Danny. All lowercase. Thank you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I saw your Instagram post about your thing. I, I never watched it, but I think I'm going to watch it. After Donnie blew my spot and told me that he doesn't really watch my videos, uh, he decided to go back outside with Mark. So I kept on pinning. And also he kept kind of talking to me, coming back and forth. But that's okay. We love him. After thinking very long and hard about how I wanted to do this, I decided to take the straps and start using it like bias tape. And after that, it came time to bring up my bobbin and get to work. I think sewing this was the least painful task. I did end up deciding to sew straight lines across my fabric and getting the general shape I wanted before doing the bias tape idea because it just kept moving on me and it just wasn't working out. So I figured that this would at least be a little bit easier in controlling the fabric and also it would give it some stiffness since it now had a basting stitch on it. And then after that, I finished up sewing and went back to pinning on the dress. Here you can see I have it pinned accordingly with the seam at the top and putting the straps back on like a basting stitch was probably the easiest thing to do after that. Then I decided the exact angle I wanted the sides to be at and then I also had to reopen the seam a little bit more just for the back which that was okay. It really took like two seconds and thankfully I did not ruin the strap doing this because sometimes I'm a little rough with my seam ripping and I don't really realize until after I put a hole in the fabric. And here is what the final pinning job looked like before sewing. It's time to start sewing. I'm scared. <laughs> this is more itty bitty titty it's friendly. Itty teeny weeny yellow can't wear stickers. No. no. It's just the after party. No, it's not just the after party. Mark, we're going to the actual wedding. Don't so worry, they go, I do. Yes. Oh, they are? I have no idea why Mark was so shocked that we were going to the literal wedding when we were invited to a wedding. But he was for some reason. And here's me just shoving my dress back and forth while I'm sewing it. In these shots of me sewing, I feel like you can actually see the true iridescence of this color of the dress, which I really, really appreciate my overhead lights for because I feel like the color is just so beautiful in person and I'm really happy it did look a lot like the picture, but obviously the picture they use high studio lighting, so it looks much better and more iridescent than it would in like normal daylight. This took a very long time, obviously, because I put my stitch settings on extremely slow, so I would not fuck it up at all whatsoever. All of this is sped up footage, so it is going like way faster than it actually was, but I definitely took my time with this. Here's more just relaxing sewing content of me finishing off this dress, and I did go over the top part twice just to match the original. It's another day and your girl is done with alterations. Thankfully, we're done with her. So um, I have some extra fabric. So I've decided to make Mark and I matching masks. And also if there's any extra fabric, I want to make him a pocket square. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I'll come back with the final reveal. So I guess we'll see you. <laughs> now, before I show you what you all came here to see, Please take this time now to subscribe to me if you made it this far into the video. I would really appreciate it and I thank you for subscribing. Now, on to the final reveal. 
Honestly, sewing this dress was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I had a lot of fun at my cousin's wedding. She looked absolutely beautiful, and I'm so happy for her and her husband, Eli. So thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.